enjoy it. Have fun. Have fun with it. You'll be great. Oh, okay. <laughs> Should I start? Yes, please. Over to you. Okay. So welcome, everybody. I am Kiyosha, as you all know. Um, today, we're going to be talking about managing anxiety. So just a little bit of context Kiyosha? as to how... Kiyosha, sorry, your, came... your, your camera's off uh, for some reason. Really? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Came back. Is it fine now? Yes. Yeah, now it's fine. Okay, let me just do that. Oops. Went Is it off. fine now? No, it went off. I think it's when I swipe you off the screen. Okay, it that's goes fine. Off. Then just leave, leave, leave me on the corner. Okay. No problem. Okay. <laughs> okay. So welcome, everybody. My name is Kiyosha. Um, today, we're going to be talking about managing anxiety, which is something that's very close and dear to my heart. Um, a little bit of context as to how I got you. Well, my mom is very good friends with Mark. Um, <laughs> my mom also did this course a few years back. And for the past couple of years, I've been nagged to actually do it as well. So <laughs> finally did it and finally decided to present what I have researched. So let's start in with a mindfulness practice. So can everyone put their legs on the ground, their feet on the ground, ground themselves and close their eyes and take a deep breath. And just bring awareness to your heart and feel your heartbeat and just acknowledge the present moment. Take it in three deep breaths. In through the nose, out through the mouth. And bring awareness to your mind. And just for this mindfulness practice in this class, let's clear our minds and acknowledge the moment and be present. And take another four deep breaths in. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Just bring yourself back to yourself and bring awareness into your mind and open your eyes with a clear acknowledgement of today's class. So how is everyone feeling today based on these inside out characters? Let's start with a check-in. What is that purple one there in, in, in underneath anxiety? NUI. NUI. Yes. What does that mean? <laughs> I wish I knew, Mark. Okay. <laughs> it's the only one I don't know. I think it kind of means like dragging on type okay. of feeling. <laughs> okay. Okay. Who's going to go first? <laughs> well, I think I'm feeling a bit NUI because I'm uh, all of a sudden today I was I was giving a talk and I all of a sudden didn't feel well. So it, 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 and then I had a quite a bit to do still. So I'm kind of in between that, but also joyful that I'm here. Thank you. I'm glad that you're here. Who's next? So, Kiyosha, so I, in this moment, I'm definitely feeling joy. Um, so, so exciting to be here. So, yeah, joy. Thank you, Brian. I'm glad that you're joyful to be here. I'm glad that you're here. Who's next? <laughs> Uh, hi, Kiyosha. Sorry, I've put mine into the chat box and I see Oriel has as well. Oriel's, I think, joy and mine is anxiety. And I've just put the meaning of NUI in there as well. Thanks. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay. 
Well, I'm glad everyone is for the most part joy. Um, I'm sorry to those who's not feeling the best today, but we will push through. So managing anxiety, the main system that gets affected from anxiety is the limbic system. And I don't know if anyone knows what that is, but it's where your emotions, your stress response, your immune system, your sleep, your mood, your appetite, your behavior, your motivation, your digestion gets affected purely by anxiety. So how do we manage anxiety so that we don't feel or affect the limbic system? And that's what I want to talk about today because the limbic system is so, so, so important because it's, it, it controls like 99% of everything that goes on in your body. So the first thing that I want to talk about is deep breathing. So I don't know if anyone, when they're really anxious, they start panting and they just get out of breath and they just get so overwhelmed that they just can't breathe properly. But deep breathing helps you control your body's system and bring you back to your natural form. So it's so important when you're feeling stressed and overwhelmed and anxious to take just stop and just take a deep breath. Another thing is to be more self-aware and acknowledge how you feel. Acknowledging how you feel is so important because that's giving yourself a moment to be like, okay, yeah, no, I'm not having a good day or I'm not having a good moment. How can I improve how I feel? You don't invalidate the way you feel. You acknowledge it and you take a moment to kind of just Figure out what you need to do to calm down and you need to they think about what needs to shift. So that's the like main points of managing anxiety. Another thing that can prevent anxiety in the future is goal setting. So always have a clear goal in mind, have strong affirmations, put it out in the universe and release the anxiety that you're feeling. By setting goals, you're allowing yourself to just kind of plan for the future so that you don't have these moments where you don't know what to do next. So eating on time is so important as well. I don't know if you guys have ever not eaten on time and then you just get like completely sick or anxious. So you need to be mindful and embrace the food. Take a moment to enjoy it. Just be like, oh yes, you know, this watermelon tastes so good or this pineapple tastes so good. Release It releases stress and anxiety by eating because you're giving your body its natural like needs. It's what your body needs. It prevents physical side effects. And you know those side effects when you don't eat is horrible. You get nauseous, you get anxious, you get headaches. And by eating and embracing your food, you prevent these physical side effects. But another thing that people do when they're anxious is they stress eat, which actually, according to studies, makes anxiety worse because then you're like off oh, flip you know i ate those donuts now i ate too much and you feel bad about it or you can go the latter route and you don't eat at all so anxiety really does affect your eating and it's so important not to stress eat and it's so important to eat so those are another thing that you know you need to consider when you are anxious so self-care is very dear to me because i love my self-care and taking care of yourself. So whether it's listening to music, going to gym, going for a run. I love going for a run. I can actually just show this video of me and my dog running. <laughs> That's my self-care, taking my German Shepherd for a run. Um, but yeah, so it's so important to find something that calms you, whether it's taking a bubble bath, going for a walk, clearing your mind, just something that you consider self-care. So this is where it comes to my story, which makes me very really nervous to share because I am the most anxious stress bug there is possible. So the story is very dear to me. It's pretty much my life story, um, which I was hesitant to share, but I also know it's important to open up. So I started getting anxiety when I was about 10 years old. Um, I had a perfectly normal childhood. I was perfectly happy. Um, and when I started competing in sports, um, rowing and swimming specifically, I would just get this like 
awful pit feeling in my stomach and I would start vomiting and I would like stop like breathing and I'd have to go to the medics and it was just something I didn't realize and my mom would take me to like every doctor possible I went for scopes I went for like different operations just to see what was going on in my stomach and my mind and nothing was working it would just happen on and off on and off and eventually I just kind of learned to live with it um, I remember my mom used to give me stress calm which is like an over-the-counter medication to help with stress and it never did anything and then when I was about 16 17 I actually started suicidal ideations um I never self-harmed I never realized how this would all happen and I attempted suicide and my mom's response was she admitted me in a Kiso Crescent Clinic and they diagnosed me with bipolar, BPD, anxiety, depression, all sorts of things. And that first trip ended up being another six trips that happened. Constant suicide attempts, um, just battling with anxiety. And I just, I couldn't, I didn't know what to do anymore. And... You know, now I'm on lithium, I'm on dopacol, I'm on all sorts of medications just to calm me down. I mean, I take Ativan like it's freaking candy. Um, so it's, it's something that I've been living with and I needed to find a way to manage this anxiety, but I never knew how to, you know. So this day, I get such bad anxiety when it comes to exams. I get such bad anxiety when it comes to varsity. And I'd reached a stage where I said to my mom the other day, I just want to take six months off. And that's probably what I'm going to do because I just can't handle, I can't handle the anxiety anymore. And I just can't think of anything that can help me. So that's when I started all this research and how to manage anxiety. And that's when I learned self-care. So I've been focusing a lot on self-care, going for runs, going to the gym, all sorts of things, but nothing really helps me these days. You know, I'm in and out of psychiatrists. I've just been, you know, all over the place. So that's kind of where I'm going the mindfulness route to learn how to manage my anxiety in a different way that's not medicated or that's not psychiatric treatment. You know, it's just something different. And self-care has been, yeah, very important to me because it's helped me get to a little bit of a calmer level. I can't say my anxiety is gone, but it's definitely a lot calmer. So that's my story. And that's kind of why self-care is very important to me. The next and last slide is receive it, accept it, and let it go. Most people who suffer with anxiety literally just sit there and they get like so anxious and they don't know what to do and they get so overwhelmed and it's just so stressful so the most important thing is receive it you know accept it process it and just let it go and my mom always says to me be like Elsa and let it go <laughs> because sometimes holding on to things really just causes more harm to yourself so sometimes you just have to receive it accept it let it go and to close off it's just a quick meditation um, I just want everyone to close their eyes and take four deep breaths in. Bring awareness to your heart. Bring awareness to your mind and let go of everything that's holding you down for today. Release your anxiety and take one deep breath in, in through the nose, out through the mouth and just let it go. And that is it. Thank you. Thank you, Kiasha. Um... Sure, I love that image, that final image there on your slide. Um, and I, I loved your slides. Um, if you can 
take your slides down so we can see everybody in the meeting. Okay. There we there go. We All right. So I know Oriel cannot speak because she's got laryngitis, but anybody would like to comment first um, on Kiyasha's teach back. Um, okay, I'll go first. Hi, Thanks, Kiyosha. Yeah. My pleasure. Hi. Thank you so much for your presentation. I think for me, the most important part is, is that you had the courage and you were brave enough to share your personal story because that is really, really powerful, but also very sensitive. Um, you know, it's something that you don't just share with anybody. So I think we're really privileged that you were able to share your story with us. Um, and well done for you know, realizing that you are where you are and what you need. Um, so that's what I, I liked about that part of your presentation. I really like the part about the limbic system um, and, you know, the different parts that it does touch on um, and, you know, where it shows um, the different elements that it focuses on um, in the body. Um, and then, the part for me, um, also, I like the check-in. I didn't know what that word meant. I'm glad Mark asked because I thought mm -hmm. I didn't know what it meant. Um, but I, I liked it. It was it was quite cool to do that. So I didn't start off with that. And then um, I'm going to jump to a part where I think, you know, if you want to continue on your journey of mindfulness, which, you know, you've shared you're going to be focusing on for the next six months, is to perhaps consider building on to this presentation in the next six months on your journey. Um, because I think as you learn more about mindfulness, you will start feeling how that limbic system actually, you know, the reality of how it affects you and how you can work on those different elements. You've already started sharing with us the the running. So mindful running with your dog, um, you know, is a wonderful way to start. And then I think what you perhaps can build onto is how you can focus on the other elements. One of the elements I particularly enjoy is the, I think it's called olfactory element, the smell. Um, so how you can use different smells in mindfulness and just build on all of those different elements, but make it a part of your journey. That, that way it becomes, this is where your before was and where your after is working with the limbic system. So I think it's a beautiful start and you can continue on that journey um, in the next six Thank months. Okay. Yeah, thanks. So that's from my side. Thank you so much, Kiyosha. Appreciate Thank your you. presentation. Thanks, Danielle. Um, appreciate. Um, Bronwyn, did you want to comment? Yes. Yes, 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 I do. So, Kiyosha, well done. I mean, I also thoroughly enjoyed your presentation, completely agree with the feedback that Dee has given you. Um, I also just want to comment on presentation, your presentation and articulation. Um, and please, this does come from a place of non-judgment. But throughout our classes, you haven't been very vocal, not just very vocal, but I mean, I haven't heard your voice as much. And when you presented this evening, I was just so taken aback at how clearly you articulate yourself. It was beautiful, Kiyosha. And I think there's, there's a strength in that, right? Um, because I was engaged, I wanted to listen. And so I almost want to encourage you to use your voice more in platforms because Thank you, you. So, so beautifully, you know, um, I was really engaged. I wasn't bored at all. And I think it could have been also your use of tone and pitch at different points that I really appreciated. Um, kudos to you on the vulnerability and, and really stepping into your own story because I, I'm a firm believer in the more you tell your story, the more comfortable you become with it, but also that authenticity shines through and you actually have an impact on people's lives, like real people's lives. And you can actually, you can move mountains for individuals when you Thank share you your story that. in that way. Um, what was the other thing I wanted to, I also really enjoyed your check-in, um, just because, in fact, you're checking in your very last slide, because it's so relatable to people, so any person from any background immediately are able to identify with the characters that you utilized, and they weren't necessarily people, they were characters, but we know these characters, they're familiar to us, and so for me, that translated into a very non-threatening, you know, it's, it's, um, inside out and it's also <laughs> the very neutral characters that are in our homes 
And that immediately made me feel very comfortable because you use it as your check-in. And then you close off with Alta, which is, you know, <laughs> and it's not about the character. It's about, you know what I mean? It's about that relatability, which I, I really, really enjoyed. Um, Thank you, Limit Brian. system was great. Also, throughout our journey together as a community, this little community of ours, I felt that you pulled in a lot of the lessons, the little things that Mark had taken us through on a journey, you know, where it's mindfulness, um, eating, sleeping, running. Uh, well, not, you used running, but I mean the self-care component. And I thought that that was a beautiful tie into the buildup of our learning in mindfulness. And then lastly, a bit of a maternal comment in me coming out is just to say, you know, Kiyosh, I know you're saying that right now, not much has worked for you. And I appreciate you sharing that with us. But on the opposite end, I want to tell you that you've probably made the best investment. And I think you're going to find your answers if you continue your mindfulness journey. So that's not feedback. It's just from me to you. I think you're on the right trajectory to find what it is you're seeking. And that's it. Thank you, Bron. <laughs> you're very sweet. <laughs> Thanks so much uh, for the wonderful feedback. Oh, Bronwyn, that's great. Um, Oriel, you're, you're not going to speak because you wrapped up. Daniel, do you want to add something? Um, yeah, I just wanted to add on some. Bronwyn just reminded me um, of that. Um, you know, Kiyosha, um, all of our stories matter. And it's, you know, it's important, like Bronwyn says, the more we tell our story, in fact, the more we heal. Um, and you've got a wonderful way that you've used it. And I didn't even think about it as much as all these characters speaks to a very particular audience. Um, if I can say that the younger audience, it's more relatable that you can share your story with and inspire them, but also to everybody else, because it brings out that inner child in you. And that's what storytelling does. So I really like what Bronwyn said about using those characters throughout your presentation as well. So I just wanted to add that. I thought it was really cool. Thanks. Thank you. Oriel saying the lovely ladies covered everything. Stunning share, Kiyasha. <clears throat> Thank you. Okay. Um, let me offer you my feedback. Um, I think it was a great topic because it's very relatable to you. And um, I, I really enjoy the fact that you know, you chose something that you know a lot on, okay? Because uh, some people, they choose a topic and it's something that they haven't lived through or experienced and they, they, it's not really heartfelt. But for you, it was. And I, I, I had a little chuckle at the back history of the course and, you know, your mom nagging you to do it. And, uh, <laughs> and I'm so proud that you, that you did do it. And that you joined the program um, and I think it's um, it's so memorable and I'm so privileged to be part of your journey um, your slides were great uh, you look great um, your your sound is really good your lighting your uh, connection the the opening meditation instruction was great um, I love the language that you used um, and yeah, I think uh, in terms of the practice, maybe you could have given it a little bit longer, more pauses, silence in between, you know, you had time. So you can just kind of make the space, spread it out. Um, and, and, and that's the thing, you had time. Um, the the, the check-in was great. I like the fact that you got us to unmute because we were able to and um, uh, yeah, you you need to uh, find you know that word. What's it? Inui. <laughs> I think you've got, to, you've got to work that out before the session. But um, yeah, I learned something. I learned something with that. Um, the limbic system and what the limbic system controls. Um, and I thought I thought yeah, at that point I agree with Daniela. You know, around the limbic system, and 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 I would have liked to have also. Uh, maybe gone a bit deeper into it. Um, but uh, yeah, you know, obviously, uh, uh, what happens more more around the stress response with the limbic system. Um, but the but the managing anxiety points were excellent, you know, the deep breaths, um, you made some really good points. 
Um, your voice is very clear. You were very confident. Um, you were very smooth. There was no like ums and ahs and, you know, I want you to's and, and all of that. So in terms of like public speaking or, or delivering a presentation, uh, you've got what it takes. I mean, it's very easy for you. It seems I know I know you were anxious and nervous, but it didn't come across. Um, you know, you just kind of handled it in your stride. Uh, so that that's a that, that's a proper skill. Um, yeah, I mean, managing anxiety. The uh, I thought that was amazing. Um, goal setting. Uh, there were some great points there um, to reduce anxiety. You know, a, a couple of the points that you that you suggested are very different um, to to what I'm used to. So I, I quite enjoyed that. You know, it was eye opening. Oh yeah, goal setting and stress. Okay, I never thought of it like that. And eating <laughs> time. I was like, oh, I never thought of that too. And you know, yeah, I can see how that makes anxiety worse and stress eating makes it worse because you know then you feel a bit shameful and, and all of that so there was some original content i haven't heard that sort of angle before and how you link those points to stress which i thought was pretty cool um yeah your points were unique and original um i, I really loved the fact that you you know put in the video of you running the self-care video um and um, you, I thought that was awesome uh, with the dog and, um, you know, just showing us a bit of your life, a bit of your world. I thought that was great. Your personal story, again, going into your history. Um, it's very personal, very vulnerable for you to do that. I mean, if it was a bigger audience with, with strangers, would you still would you still be able to go there with that with that? Probably, yeah. <laughs> OK. Okay, Probably. I was thinking, you know, because I mean, you feel safe with us, um, and and that's fine. But if it's a bigger audience with people you don't know, would you still relay your personal story to them? I have before. I definitely probably would again. Just yeah. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. No, it's just you know, I mean, it's such a powerful story, and I mean, I I, I just also imagine you, you know, because of your age and that, like like standing up in front of like even school kids or or or, or people at college or varsity you know um giving talks on mental health i mean it's 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 it's, it's really such a brilliant place to 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 deliver it because you know i'm, I'm sure there, there are other kids that have that have also had younger kids obviously that have had suicide ideation and struggled at school and struggled in silence you know which is quite sad um so yeah. i think i think you know, as soon as you open that door as soon as you talk about your stuff other people feel that it's okay to talk about their stuff um yeah the um you came across very calm and well and and <laughs> you, you know told us about all the meds that you are on i, I was thinking maybe you dosed yourself up with lots of atomic <laughs> Before, before the session. No. <laughs> no, definitely not. I've never taken an Etavan, but I've heard about it. It's a lovely feeling. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, um, I mean, that's very vulnerable, uh, you know, but, but I think that's, that's the thing, you know, you've, you've, you've tried everything. You've, you've, you said you've, you've done everything. And, and now you're on this mindfulness journey, you know, and I, I agree what the ladies say, just you, this is, this is where you, where you need to be um, and carry on with it. And I'm, you know, take the meds, do what you need to do, but don't give up on your mindfulness and don't give up on, um, on your wish to share with others and to take it further. I love the uh, slide on receive it accept it and let go. Um, I enjoyed the, the cartoon characters from Inside Out to Frozen. Had a young theme to it, you know, and yeah, as the ladies were saying, characters that we can relate to. Um, you know, they've been in our home. <laughs> um, our kids watch them a million times. Um, and a nice tie-in at the end with the meditation to the let it go, you know. I, I really thought that you could have done a longer meditation at the end. Um, you had the time 
So, so you know, you could have taken us through like a five minute, six minute practice. Um, so that that's my only sort of constructive part there is 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 right at the end. Why not give us more? You know, why not make it longer um, and and take us in deeper, Daniel? Yeah, Mark, I just want to add on to that, you know, Kiyosha, um, I just really was touched by your story and like Mark says, you know, where you are at right now. Um, you know, one of the things that I think, particularly for me, that's, you know, stood out based on your story is the loving kindness meditation. Um, so I think that's a really beautiful way to end off your story because that is exactly what you are doing. You are doing the self-care and you're being kind to yourself. So that's my suggestion to you, maybe when you want to do it, to end it off with the loving kindness because you owe it to yourself um, to give that and to share that with others. Um, and then one other point um, you touched on, um, a kiso um, and your the number of times that you've been to a kiso um, so on my um, when I was there last year I noticed there's a lot of uh, university students uh, uh, University of Johannesburg um, and I think to Mark's point is that you are such a wonderful you know inspiration and that ambassador for mental health um, by telling your story so there is opportunity and even um, once you're ready through SADAC um, that you can you know become a, a peer support group leader um, and tell your story for that particular audience because they really do need it you know it's sad that our young people are not able well that they get the help but you need to be able to understand how to take care of yourself, like what you're doing right now. Um, and the sooner they learn to do it, the better. Um, but also, like um, you know, Bronwyn was saying, um, our youth need it. Our youngsters, my son has just turned 13, uh, turned 13, turning 14, and I'm definitely teaching him mindfulness now so that it helps mm -hmm. him in the long run. But yeah, that's just all I wanted to add. Thanks. Thank you. Amazing, amazing. Thanks, Danielle. Such such an important thing. I mean, right there, you've got an avenue. And, you know, I, I mean, even if you sort of jump in, volunteer, you're going to make a name for yourself. Um, you know, I, I, used to, I used to teach meditation for four years before I started charging for it. Um, I, I used to go to yoga studios and just, I mean, I, I would drive across town just to hold space in the meditation group. I didn't make one rand. For four years, um, I just did it because I loved it. And, um, you know, I know you need to make a living and you need to find a career and whatnot. But sometimes you just got to go out there and, and say, let me just do this. Let me jump in. You know, let me let me um, uh, get involved. And through that, things start to happen and things start to 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 move. Obviously, with your studies and the combination of that is a very powerful common you know, effect. So, Kiyasha, I think you did a really, really amazing job. Um, I, I mean, actually knocked my socks off because I thought, you know, wow, this is really good, um, very professional. Um, and I didn't feel like you were reading at any point. I didn't feel like it was scripted. Um, you know, even to this day, I work with some people that's very scripted, very death by PowerPoint, uh, very boring. But yours wasn't that at all. I, I found it really engaging um, and easy to understand, easy to listen to. And obviously, um, the practices were quite good. My only sort of constructive thing is just make the meditations longer. Just make the practices longer and, 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 and slow it down. Give some pauses and extend that time. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty happy. I'm good. I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling really good about this. Well done, Kiasha. Thank you, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> um, Thank you. And yeah, I mean, uh, like uh, what I said to, so there was another lady um, in the other group. Um, what's her name? Oh, Catherine. So um, she, she had a good delivery, but I felt that she could have um, made it better. So I said to her, you know what, Catherine, I love your presentation, but get, Let's, let's set up a meeting where you can do it again and deliver it with taking to heart the, the, the feedback, do it again, and then I will 
uh, I will I will see if you have taken the, the the feedback to heart and have changed your your presentation. So I'm going to offer the same to you. If you if you want to work on the points, uh, make the make the practices a bit longer. I'd be happy to listen to it again. Okay. Okay. Super. Awesome. Uh, I think it was great, Kiasha. Thanks everyone for attending tonight. I thought last week was the last one. Was it last week? When did we say goodbye? <laughs> I can't even remember the week before. The week before, yes. Or uh, Oriel's using hand signals and whatnot. Shame. Sorry about that. You're not feeling well. Um, but ladies, once again, thank you for being on the course. Thank you for joining the course. Um, it's it's really been one of my favorite favorite groups. Um, and I really, I'm going to miss seeing you guys every Thursday. Um, it's been like a little bit of a mindful family, you know, uh, but it's not the end. We're going to keep in touch and we're going to do wonderful things together. Okay. Thank you. Wonderful. All right. Thank Take care you. of yourselves. Okay. Have a good evening. Thank See you. you. So much. Okay. Right. Cheers, guys. Well Bye. done. Well done. Bye now. Goodbye, Oreo. Cheers.